everybody wants to start a YouTube channel, but they never really say how hard it is. To It's your girl Tamara. Welcome back to another video. Um, before we get into things, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to share my video. stuff that she used so I'm going I've tried it before but I'm gonna try I'm gonna use it again basically to get all the excess makeup off because normally when I get in the shower I wash my face again in the shower um, but I just do this extra step just to make sure that I'm getting all the makeup off so I'm gonna try this um, I just squirt like a little bit in my hand like that um, I'm going to actually not use water right now. I'm gonna just rub it in my hand and just rub it in my face. I don't know if anybody else has problems with when they wear a lot of makeup and then they take it off. Um, I guess it's just the way I take my makeup off. But my wig always ends up lifting. So if you have any remedies or anything like that or, or tricks and tips on how to keep your wig from lifting, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and then when I come out, um, I'll do my Q&A with you guys and then I'll close out the video. So, I got some questions that I'm actually gonna answer for you guys just so you guys can get to know me just a little bit better. Before we get into the questions, I just wanna say that I am 25. I'm over the age of drinking limit. So if you are not of age, please do not drink and especially do not drink and drive. Okay, now let's get into the questions. I'm gonna be reading. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. All right, the first question is, when you were a kid, did you think any dream career choice was out of your reach and what was it? I personally wanted to be a teacher. No, an astronaut. An astronaut was the first thing that I wanted to be. Um, I won't say that it was out of reach, but I do realize that there's a lot of education that needs to go with that i know you have to take like engineering classes and all of this other stuff and i just didn't think i was cut out to do it. the movie hidden figures came out and when i saw the movie i cried because i was like wow this is what i wanted to do when i was a little girl and i didn't think that it was a reach for me so when i saw it i was like if this movie would have came out when i was younger i probably would have pursued it but you live, you learn, you move on. I didn't know, so. Yeah. If money didn't matter, what would you do uh, with your time? I'm gonna reword that question. If I was financially stable and I didn't have to work, what would I do with my time? So, um, as you saw in the last video, I have a daughter. She actually turns 18 months um, next month on the 12th. Um, and I absolutely adore being a mother 
um, that's probably one of the best things that I've ever done. I took like, I think two months, maybe a little bit less. And I kind of just spent time with her and just like enjoyed her time. And that was the best time of my life. Just watching her grow and just being there to watch her grow. I would do that like forever. But then again, probably not <laughs> because I'd be bored. I just have hobbies. But if I had the choice, I would be a stay at home mom. If you had to choose a career you loved for little money or choose the one you didn't enjoy for high salary and commit to it for five years, which would you pick? So I've actually done both. I've been at a job where I didn't make a lot of money and I absolutely loved it. And I would get so comfortable and I wouldn't leave. Um, and then I would realize, okay, their money is going to their, like all of our monies are going to our bills, right? But their bills are actually getting paid. I'm struggling just a bit. So I had to end up make, I had to make a choice on if I wanted to stay with the company or find, you know, better money so I did that and then I went to a job where I was making a lot more money I hated the job I worked from home I was pregnant at the time the money was good but it could have been better but I didn't know that there was of course there were better out there but I was just working with what I had at the moment so I ended up being miserable every single morning getting up and it was the worst thing in the whole wide world um and then I ended up quitting and I took the break that I took and then I moved to the company that I'm with now and I'm actually making more money and I love my job so I guess now I have the best of both worlds but if I had to choose because that's actually what the question said if I had to choose which one I would do I'd probably I'll choose neither because <laughs> I have the best of both worlds right now. I choose neither. What are your main fears of starting this channel? My biggest fears as far as the YouTube channel was I was never going to record. And I was never going to get in front of the camera. That was like the biggest fear. Like everybody wants to start a YouTube channel. But they never really say how hard it is. The first video is the hardest. You got to get your pitch right. Opening up a video is so hard. Nobody says anything about that. Um, so that's really nerve wracking. Like I have so many bloopers that I can probably put in where I'm literally telling myself to calm down and just talk. So that was one of my biggest fears. The other fear is that people aren't going to receive my videos well. I do suffer from social media anxiety, uh, which is really funny because, you know, yeah, I don't have any social medias besides two and well, not three now. I consider YouTube social media, um, but Facebook. And that's just to keep up with my family and for them to keep up with me and my baby and Snapchat. And that's just for me to keep up with my friends. And when you put yourself out there, um, comments are going to come scrolling, especially the bigger that you get. But I know that kind of just comes with it. So, um, and the other thing is just me not being consistent and me falling off or me not growing the way that I want to. So, um. That was a long explanation, but it explained what I... Are you used to speaking to a camera? So no, I was not used to speaking to a camera. Again, I could talk for days, but it's just when you're kind of not talking to somebody, it's just a little different. Um, of course, like I'm talking to you because you're watching the video, but as far as me recording the video, it's like I kind of got to visualize. This is good stuff why should people follow your channel i do have a lot to say um i feel like a lot of stuff is very valuable i give extremely great advice um i can be pretty entertaining and if you're willing to receive it then you're in the right place so i'm gonna drink to that thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys being here with me again thank you so much for all the love and support that i got on the first video um you guys really really made me happy um seeing how many views i got on that video so blow this video up for me too please leave a comment i'm perfectly fine with seeing all the comments especially if you know me you know just give a hey i'm here watching your video little comment and i'm cool with that thank you for everybody that's basically been supporting me so far we got a long road to go and i'm just happy that you guys are on the road with me
I'm gonna give you all the normal YouTube spell that everybody knows so well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all got it. Okay, bye.